Thank you very much, Francis. The Procol Harum hit A Whiter Shade of Pale has been named by the, as the most played song in public places in the past 75 years. According to the music licensing company PPL, the 1967 hit with its haunting organ solo beat Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody into second place with the Everly Brothers' All I Have to Do is Dream at number three. Let's just recall that uh, wonderful Procol Harum music. Turn the wider. Black and white, of course. It was uh, Top of the Pops uh, way back in 67. We're joined now by the editor of the website music-news.com, Marco Gandolfi. Thank you very much indeed for talking to us. They're still grinding away in the background there. Why has this song endured so well, do you think? I think it's, uh, it's one of those things that perfectly captured the, um, the element of the 60s, uh, the psychedelia, the flower power. Um, and um, it's one of those things that when, when you first hear that keyboard, Matthew Fisher's keyboard come in, it just gives you goosebumps, you know, it makes the hair stand on the back of, back of your neck. Yeah, but so it's nostalgia, is it, that keeps it going? You said the it's 60s, I would agree with you, but it's gone on and on and on and on. On and on, but um, let's say the first Brit Awards, for example, in 1977, uh, it won the joint um, top best pop single, Bohemian Rhapsody, which incidentally comes number second in this chart, and that was 1970, well, the first one, 1977, and that was taken into account from 52 to 77, and... Here we go, it's one and two again, straight away. So, uh, And it's also the sort of thing that people can sort of sing along to automatically. As soon as it starts, you sort of want to join in yourself, yeah, don't I you? I think it works on many different levels. The lyrics are about everything and nothing. Everyone can associate a different lyric to, to their own lives, really. And I suppose it's that communication factor between the band, yourself, and uh, what's happening around you. It's, it's, it's capturing that moment in time. and. Uh, and it lasts forever. Indeed. Now, it beat uh, some interesting things, didn't it? Bohemian Rhapsody, for example. A lot of things you might have thought would be, would be first of all, would have beaten it anyway. Um, it stayed up there for so long, I think. Um, it's one of, the, one of the miracles. I think it's that, it's that Hammond organ. And Bohemian Rhapsody is a mini opera in itself. And again, it put first, first songs put pop and rock together. And, um, and there it is. I mean, if you look at the, the rest of the top five as well, the Everly Brothers, uh, Wet, 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 Love is All Around could be in there because of the, of the great film that it was um, from. It was 15 weeks to number one, but number five, Brian Adams, Everything I Do For You. Again, the longest stand in there, number one, 16 weeks. So it's all there, and that association with film um, online. I, and these days, I think the single is waning. We, we're talking about times that the last, the, the, the newest entry is 94, uh, with Wet, 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 and that's when singles sold much more than they're selling now. So um, people had more nostalgia. I think music was more of a communal thing really and everyone was willing it to number one as to now it's it's become a little bit more indi individual should we say fascinating down the end isn't it one presley all shook up abba gets in there with dancing queen bit oh, surprising yeah. not higher um perry como magic moments and bing crosby white christmas so the real traditional things were very very well played right through the years absolutely and um yeah emotional something that we all, all can connect with at, um, at all times all points in our lives it seems the only fun thing I thought wasn't there was my way. I'm amazed that's not there, there as well. Not, but the jam weren't there either. I can't believe it. <laughs> you Missing. can't quite see that. Oh, yes, you can. Can you see it? Oh, <laughs> you the caption. Oh, there, there we are. The jam. Should have been there. Next year, next year. Marco, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks. We're going to have all the main news for you in just a few moments. First, though, let's join Rob McCowie for the weather. Rob. And things are moving.